Hey everybody, infinite progression. I'm totally gonna finish this freaking uh, row and whatnot. Man, that last game was like the best thing I have ever played. And no, I don't know what sarcasm is. Why don't you tell me? Anyway, regardless, I am regressing infinitely toward nonsense and stupidity and um oh wait that's from the thing yep sometimes i forget to do it anyway i'm gonna put that over there on my other screen and we're gonna play cyber cube this is another this is an, wait i think this is one that uh hackers bought me i don't remember buying this i think i would remember uh, but we'll we'll see. Easy action games, it says. Says Yang64. I'm just looking at community content. Let's find out beforehand. Is this still a game? Ooh, it's a game that you can buy for $11. Well, then it better be good. Because you can buy Cthulhu Saves the World and Breath of Death 7 for $3. So... My expectations have been adjusted thusly. It's true. Let's get cyber. Let's get cubed. Oh yeah, them fantastic graphics. Put it on that right monitor. Whoop. Made with that unity that everybody loves. Oh wait, there's a kitty who wants to love me. Hold up. Anyway, hey, look. Sometimes... The cute black kitty wants to run her paws through your beard, and you just gotta let her do it. Oh, there, what? Okay, there are songs, there are credits, there are, okay, options and whatnots. Uh, yeah. So let's, let's find out. Uh, let's just hit play. And let's... New game, new game, let's start it from the start. Okay, space to jump. Oh, I'm jumping. I did it. Oh, so it's like geometry dash. This is what it is. Like, I don't think that I'm telling anybody anything they don't know. Wait, what happened there? What are these lines? Oh, what? Oh, left and right arrow to change speed. Okay. Okay. So it's like a slightly more involved geometry dash. Oh, I've got to hit that guy before I... Okay. Ah. Uh, wait. Uh. Uh. Wait, what? There we go. Oh, they were traveling along a path. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Just trying to figure out what the crap that was. Okay. So it's like a much more involved ge Ooh. Oh. In involved geometry dash. Okay. All right. All right. I see you. I see you. All right, all right. Okay. All right. Hey, good job teaching me mechanics of the game early on, game. Like, so... Oh, R to change layer. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wait, why didn't... Okay, hold up. Uh, th That's a very awkward hand placement, dude. Um, sorry. What? Ah, uh, it's a changed layer. Uh, okay, wait. Okay, I've got now this weird grip where I've got space bar, arrow keys. W why didn't... Okay. 
So what I've got to be able to do is like slow it down and change the layer at the same. What? Slow it down and change the layer at the same time, right? Because that will not start forming until. Why am I not hitting that? Oh God. Okay. Once I get on the orange, I've got to like, okay. So I got to jump, jump, change layer, slow that crap down. Okay. I almost, almost made it. This is a lot to do. Ah, almost. R, oh crap. So jump, jump, R. Slow that crap down. Jump, R. Jump, there we go. That's a lot to freaking do. Can I play it? Okay, hold up. Can I play it with a controller? Because, like, I swear to God. Controls. Oh, I can play it with a controller. Okay. Sweet. I should have checked that out from the beginning. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a little gravity swip swapper. Okay. Yeah, definitely play this with... Oh, that's gonna be Purtle. And that's gonna be the end of the level. Okay. A lot of interesting game mechanics. That's fun. It's like they took Geometry Dash and were like, let's do things with it. But it better have a butt ton of levels because a lot of these ones are like... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, which one of my... Where's my... Okay, there's my speed up and slow down. It's R and L. Okay. I'm just trying to get used to these controller controls. Oh, there we go. Boom. Okay. All right. There... Whoa. What? What? Okay, what is... Oh, okay. It's putting me down on a parallel plane. Okay. That's not necessarily that different from other things I've already done. Oh, this looks ridiculous. Wait, how do I... I forgot how to switch levels. Wait. Which bubbin? Okay, that, so that, okay. All right, I got you. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. All right, all right. You know, like, at first, I was very judgy. I was like, oh, it's just expensive geometry dash. And, yeah, like, I get it. I see you. I see you, game. Okay. Oh, hold the phone. Rush, rush, rush. Jumpity, jumpity, and whoop. Okay. Yeah, very short levels, but also there's always some, like, mechan- Oh, oh, is that a, like- Oh, jeez. I forgot. Is this, like, a- Will it tip? Oh, no, it just- Ah, puts me up. That's harder than it seems like it should be. Ah. Okay, jump there, jump. Whoop. I have to rush a little bit on the end of that one, but you don't want to rush too much, because then you fall off. Okay. Ah. So close. I think the fact that I just keep playing these levels, even though I was kind of feeling like, okay, game, I see you, I know what you have. And I'm like, still doing it. And I'm like, yeah, we're still doing it though. Yeah. And I want to play the next one too, even though like, I get it. I already understand everything there is to understand about this game. Okay, I really need to stop though. 
There's a butt ton of achievements though, which shows me why the Russian hackers bought it because they're all about like achievement botting these games. Um, but yeah, Cybercube. All right, dude. Okay. Okay. All right then. Uh, here, let me pause it and put a score on it. Okay. And we're back and we are back. So, um, yeah, that, that was Cybercube. We played it. Uh, we kept playing it and I, I will say that like any puzzle type game or puzzle platformer of the sort that uh, makes me actually want to play the next level rather than just be like, I get it and I am done. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. Uh, so final score wise, here you go. Final score for Cybercube. It is five out of a possible seven. This ain't your grandpa's geometry dashes. Because at first I thought like, oh, it's just going to be a cheap D geometry dash clone. But it's not. It's more than that. It it's a lot more than that. My only gripes with it are that, number one, the levels are really short. I played through the first was like 10, 11 levels. Something like that. In not that much time. And... Um, you know, I'm still in the phase where they're teaching me game mechanics. Maybe the levels get much longer after that. I don't know. I hope they do, but I don't know. Um, cause I had to stop it somewhere and I was like, I can't just, you know, play through to the end of the game and then be like, that's my review the entire game. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, the levels are short. The playing it with a keyboard is wonkalicious. Like you're gonna have your fingers spread out uh to be able to, you know, hit the R and the arrow keys and the space bar. Um it's yeah, it, it, your your fingers are gonna be in uncomfortable positions. Let's just say that. So play it with a controller is much better. Um when I saw the tons of music that it had, I thought the music selections would be better like some bumping electronica, but it was all this like, hey, we're not Enya, but we're, we're trying to be, you know, <laughs> like, all right. It's not bad. It's just, I expected it to be a little bit better. Anyway, so, so I have a couple of gripes with it, not major ones, still a good game, still, you know, fun to play and uh, kept my interest. So that's, that's something. It's not like I haven't played this type of game before. Uh, anyway, by the way, I do have to say this freaking kid, I have used this image before, like this, this kid is winning at child modeling, like, uh, oh, control and scroll wheel, we zoom in on this, this kid just winning so hard at modeling, his model game is on point, like, for real. This is the greatest of all images that I've ever found. And uh, you will not, you will not talk me out of it. That is just fact about the world. Anyway, so yeah, that's Cybercube. It's a game. It, uh, honestly, don't buy it unless it's on sale because that's kind of expensive. You can get Geometry Dash for 99 cents or for free on your phone. Anyway, who said that? I don't know. I didn't hear somebody who's talking out the side of their face. Uh, so, yeah, it's a game. It, you know, if you're into these sorts of games, it might be worth a look. Anyway, we will see you in the next one. And that's it for this one. And bye.